the platyball heads, the ergo, the elite. When Larry posted these on the Go to Fundraiser pages, the earth shook. Why? We have a revolution in ball heads. What's different? Well, he turned it upside down. Literally, the post that we would normally mount our camera to is now on the bottom. Yeah, on the bottom. Instead of the top. So now when it comes to working this head, you don't have to worry about a lot of things like leveling the bottom of the ball head like you're used to. There's no small knobs. You've got a bottom button that you push on to unlock it. You have a top button to lock it. Seriously, it's that simple. You just grab it with one hand and click the bottom one and you can move that head anywhere you want. Click the top one, one one-handed again, lock it into place, and you're golden. Now, this simple operation allows you to work in such a way that you can create a panel or move that head and not worry about leveling the ball head or the tripod. This is essential. This is great stuff. Now, I've got on here, you might be wondering about weight, the D6 and 18400. That's way over the 22-pound limit that this thing is supposed to hold. But you notice, I just click, it's not even rigid, and it's holding in place. Now, what about that panel mode? Well, that has got all these markings for 360 degrees, smooth as silk for doing a pano or for panning that lens. It's a simplistic system that works really, really well. Now you have a simple collar, you turn the push the button and rotate it, and that's how you work the locking jaws for the Arca Swiss plate. Click, turn, lock into place. Click, unlock, lock into place. And without any issues, and if I wasn't trying to film a video, you could do it with one hand. That's the beauty of the Platyball. This is one hand operation. And you can see I haven't locked it down tight and it's holding all that weight wherever I let go of that unit. That's the beauty of it. Now, when it comes to locking the pano action, you've got this knob on the side right there and you just simply tighten it. You can either tighten the panning action or lock it down tight, whatever you want to do. It's simple. I hope you notice that it's just one hand operation. There's no small ball, little knobs, no nothing anywhere. It's clean, it's light, and for ball heads, it's relatively inexpensive. And I just love this thing. Got to get used to it. Don't go out in the field first time. No, no, no. You need to practice because it's all new muscle memory. Bottom button unlock, top button lock. The Elite is just like the Ergo, but we have a built-in level, which I love for my aviation work, either on the platypod or the small ground pod. You can tilt it, not needing the vertical or the virtual horizon inside the viewfinder. It gives you a more area to look, and you can level it instantly, even in the dark. I love this thing. And the head covers? You have a compartment to hold spare batteries for the Elite if you need them. Platyball, folks, it's a new revolution. It's a new day. Check it out.